Whew, it is hot. Welcome back, guys. It's October in Texas, and you know what that means? Absolutely nothing. It's still hot like summer here, as you can see by the temperature on these test hoods behind our shop. Some of them are literally hot enough to fry an egg on, and that, along with the intense UV that we get here, is going to continue to challenge these products. If you're just joining us, first, thanks for being here. Secondly, go hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. This is our 41-way ceramic coatings and sealants longevity test. We're nearing the half-year mark for this test, but before we look at everything, let's first get to the wash. The last 30 days weather, as well as the lifetime weather, that this hood is seen is on your screen. We will foam this hood down using Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam, rinse it, foam it again, wash it, and then of course rinse it to inspect the hydrophobic properties before drying things off. This hood sits outside of our shop 24 hours a day, seven days a week here in the East Texas Elements. It was washed once a week for the first month and then monthly after that until the last one fails or until we get up to about the two year mark. This hood is rotated either 90 or 180 degrees after each update. As you've heard me talk about in previous updates with this hood, I somewhat regret using a silver hood as it is tough to sometimes show the hydrophobics on camera so I've messed with the tint and saturation in post editing to get it to show up a little better for you but weird things do sometimes happen to the color when I do that so I'm just making you aware. NGNT DS gel we had that marked week last month at the 120 day mark and it's still kind of there. Seafoam fast finish lasted about seven days. Quartz Finest Reserve and Professional look like they're doing all right. Professional looks like it's doing a little bit better than Reserve. It's been that way the entire duration of the test so far. It is also in my pro only test and they appear to be doing about the same like that. Fortador failed seven days. Apex Rehydra Bead failed 120 days, so four month mark. DPC T3 and T9. Both look like they're doing all right. Very hydrophobic. Apex metal oxide coating made by Art to Shine. Looks like it's doing good. Extreme Solutions Poly Seal we had marked at the 30 day mark for failure, and it looks like that's still the case. Nano Skin Ultra T1 and T3. T3 looks a little more hydrophobic, but they both look like they're hanging in there. T1 just not quite to the point where we're going to call it weak, but it's pretty close. Nano Skin Ceramic Sealant. We had marked that failed, I believe, at the 30 day mark. And NGNT Pro 1K. Looks like it's hanging in there, but starting to show a little bit of signs of a little bit of weakness. NGNT Pro 1K, looking good. Meguiar's 3-in-1, that's the wax that you buy from the big box stores. Avalon King, Nano Age, Wereason, all three of those looking all right. And Gion can coat Q2 looking very hydrophobic starting to show just a little bit of sign of deterioration there drive auto nano looking good Meguiar's hybrid paint coating it's also another one one of my eagle-eyed viewers noted that in AutoZone here in the United States he saw that on clearance for $33. I don't I really hope they're not discontinuing that because that seems like that's a pretty good product. New finish ceramic spray also doing very well five months in. You can see it's starting to show a little signs of weakness, but that's pretty impressive for a store-bought cheap spray product. Underdog, the sauce pro PTFE based. Looks like it's doing alright. Glosset 10H and Glosset 5H. Looking good. 5H actually looking even slightly more hydrophobic. NGNT Pro 2K. 
looking all right, as well as their flagship 3K. Griot's three and one. Starting to show a little bit of signs of wear there, but it's still hanging in there. Made it to about the year mark in my other tests, so just for reference. G-Technic Ultra, professional only, very hydrophobic. It was one of the winners in my long-term test that I've done in the past. Made it well beyond two and a half years. IGL Premier looking all right. Owner's Pride looks okay. ECP and Speedwipe are similar to those made by the same manufacturer. I don't know if they're identical, but I am told they are similar. Lone Star Ceramic Pre-Production looks all right. Made here in Texas. IGL Easy Graphene looking good. Ilho 12H that had failed around the seven day mark. And Chemical Guys Hydro Slick. Believe that failed around 30 days. Hydro Charge around 60 days. And the Carbon Force Ceramic Coating was weak last month and it looks like it's going to hang on about there it's it's like borderline if you want to call it weak or not but it's it's getting there and then ammo ammo was weak and acting the way it was about the 30 day mark it's still acting that way so not extremely hydrophobic like some of the others so there is your update guys next month will be six months we've already had this is uh I'm, I'm editing this here october the 7th we've already had a pretty significant amount of rain already twice as much as what we've had for the entire month of september so we will see if there's any changes coming up comment down below let me know what your favorite is thumbs up make sure you're subscribed thanks again see you soon